Hello and welcome to this video learning series of AutoCAD. Today we are going to learn how to create construction lines, rays, how to place a point and multiple points in AutoCAD. So let's start with it. The first thing we are going to learn is how to create a construction line. So this construction line is available in the draw panel of home tab. You need to expand the draw panel to access this tool. So after expanding the draw panel, you can find this tool here. Click on it. The command line says specify a point. And there are also some other options which we will discuss later. Now I have to specify a point. Let me click here. Now you can see the construction line is attached to my cursor. I can place it either horizontally like this, vertically like this or at any angle like this. Now after placing the construction lines, press enter or escape to exit the tool. As we saw, there were some other options in the command line when we invoked the construction line tool. Let's discuss about them. So again invoke the construction line tool by typing its command alias this time. So the command alias for construction line tool is XL. Type XL in the command line and press enter. Now horizontal and vertical options. We have already drawn the construction lines using these options. This was the horizontal line. This was the vertical line. Now the third option is angle option. Suppose I want my construction line to be inclined at an angle of 70 degrees with respect to the positive x-axis. So what I'll do is I'll click on this angle option. Now I have to enter the angle of x line. So I'll type 70 in the command line and press enter. Now you can see a construction line is attached to my cursor and it is inclined at an angle of 70 degrees with respect to the positive x-axis. So click anywhere in the drawing area to place this construction line like this. Next, press escape to exit the tool. We have some options left in the command line. So again, invoke the tool by pressing spacebar. Now we have this bisect option. Suppose I want to create a construction line, which bisects the angle between this line and this line, which means I want to place that construction line in between these two lines, in the mid of these two lines. So I will click on the bisect option. Now the command line says specify angle vertex point. So for these two lines, this line and this line, the vertex point is this. So I will click here to specify the vertex. Now specify angle start point. So I'll click on this line to specify the angle start point. Now I have to specify the angle end point. So I'll click on this line to specify the angle end point. Then I'll press the escape key to exit the tool. Now, if you measure these two angles, the angle between this line and this line, and this line and this line, both the angles will be equal. As this construction line has bisected the angle between these two lines. Again invoke the construction line tool. Now the only option left is offset option. So click on the offset option. The command line says specify offset distance. Suppose I want to create construction lines at an offset of 30 units. So I'll type 30 in the command line. I'll press enter. Now the command line says select a line object. Suppose I want to offset this construction line. So I will select this. Next, I have to specify the side to which I want to offset this construction line. So I will click here. Again, I will select this line. This time I want to offset in this direction. So I will click on this side. In this way, you can specify the offset values to the construction lines. So press escape or enter to exit the tool. This was all about the construction line tool. This tool is very helpful while creating floor plans, elevations, sections, or any architectural kind of work you're doing. Let me delete these lines. Next thing, 
which we are going to learn today is the rate tool. Again, we need to expand the draw panel to access this tool. You can find it here, the rate tool. As we all know, the definition of a ray, it is a line that starts at a point and continues to infinity. So let's click on this tool. Now the command line says specify start point. So I'll specify the start point here. Next, the command line says specify through point. Again, click anywhere in the drawing area and the rays are created like this. You can see the ray has a start point, but it has no end point. It goes up to the infinite. Let me delete these rays first. Next thing is point. So type PO in the command line and press enter. PO is the command alias for point 2. Now the command line says specify a point. I'll click here. I'll again invoke the point 2. I'll click here. You can see by using the point tool, I can only place a single point at a time. So we have a tool using which we can place multiple points at a time. Here it is in the expanded draw panel, the multiple points tool. Click on it. Now you can keep on specifying points unless and until you press the escape or enter keys to exit the multiple point tool. So press escape to exit the tool. Now we have placed different points in our drawing screen, but how can we locate these points? How can we see them? These are very minute entities and are very difficult to find where they exactly lie. So we can change the point style for points. And how can we do that? Go to the utilities panel and here you can find this point style tool. Click on it. As you can see, currently this style is chosen. We can change the point style using any of these options. So I'll choose this one and I'll click OK. Now you can see the point style has changed. Now I can easily locate the points where I had placed them previously. We can also increase or decrease the size of these points. So again, go to the utilities panel, click on point style tool. You can see the point size tool here. Make it 10 and press enter. You can see size of the points has increased. So this was all about these tools. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.